editing, hanging out with Lily, and I heard a lot of barking from those two little dogs. Turns out the wheels just showed up, guys. So these are RVL wheels. They're one of one, but based off another wheel design called Ivy. I did go with the center lock, so I have a center lock conversion for the BMW M4 as well. The specs on these are just simply insane. So I went with a 19 inch wheel, cause more race car. I'm gonna put a meaty tire on it, but it's a 19 by 14 in the rear and 19 by 12. Enough of me talking, let's just open these boxes. What a tease, it's a box in a box. Oh man. Three, two, one. Dude, oh my gosh. So I went with a, um, just like a kind of raw finish face with a polished lip. Let's go ahead and open up a front so we can actually compare them. Here we go, guys. Woo! And there's a front wheel, guys. So 19 by 12. Lip is just a hair bit smaller. I have a mess of boxes. I still got one more unopened, but let's get straight to the tires. This is the tire we're going with. It's an R888R345 3019. For the front, it's a 12 wide wheel. It's a 295 3019. They're, they're absolutely crazy in person. And when you compare it to the Jeep build, I really feel like I went a little too big, but we'll find out here very soon. So obviously this is filmed before we put the tires on it, but this is the test fit before we actually cut the car. I am one of the very few to have three piece 19 inch wheels with the 400 millimeter carbon ceramic brake setup. It's insane. So uh, we actually had to do a lot of designing to make this work. But between everything that RVL did and what we discussed, it came out amazing. I don't have the wide body here today or I would test fit it. It's actually getting some carbon fiber work done. But I can say I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect. I'm gonna buy some SPL camber arms. I'm gonna pull some of the camber out in the rear as much as I can when the wide body is on. And then in the front, I'll probably have to add a little bit of camber. The whole idea is like negative two camber in the front and then maybe like zero to negative 0.5 in the rear. I simply just cannot stop looking at these things, guys. The deep lip with the concave appearance, and then you see those carbon ceramic brakes behind. Here's the tool that you actually have to tuck these suckers down at 440 pounds. That's insane. I do not have a breaker bar that can actually do that much. Most torque wrenches do not go to 440. And when you get to that area, you have to buy a torque wrench that's does like 750 or maybe a thousand. They're like six foot long. When I ordered the wheels, I didn't look at torque wrenches because I figured they'd be like a couple hundred dollars. Turns out, huge con owning center lock wheels, they're not a couple hundred dollars. They're actually like $750 for a cheap one, all the way up to three grand. Or a special power tool that's like eight grand. It's crazy, right? So that's actually a huge con about center locks. I still think it's worth it, but now, I need a few more side jobs. Uh, here in the next couple weeks, I'll do a couple more bag installs, suspension installs, maybe wrap to get that money so that we can acquire that special torque wrench. If you don't know, I treat myself. I work a normal job, I'm a car salesperson, but on the side, I do car hobbies. And I take in clients, customers, kind of like a business, but I don't do it full time. That's how I pay for a lot of my parts, but mainly my tools. That's just something about me. Got a hustle for it, man. Thank you. 